Now the dust has settled, we can take stock of not E3. The next year of gaming is shaping up to be pretty exciting, especially for fans of sci-fi horror and frogs. But there were some no-shows that made us a little sad. J just a little. We've all got our gaming tastes, games we're keeping our fingers crossed for any information about, and even with potential other announcements throughout the year, we always hope to see some juicy trailers at E3. But alas, we missed a few of our most wished for at this year's event, so let's all pour one out for the games we didn't see this year, but hope too soon. This is six no-shows we hoped we'd see at this year's Not E3. It's obvious that Bethesda is deeply focused on the release of Starfield. After many teasers and documentary-esque snippets of developments, we finally got to see a glimpse of gameplay for the space adventure game. And while that's all well and good, we desperately need some Elder Scrolls in our lives. We've seen so many re-releases of Skyrim that they act as a reminder that one of the best RPGs hasn't had a follow-up in over a decade. Although Bethesda's brains are hard at work on Starfield, we couldn't help but feel a tinge of sadness that The Elder Scrolls 6 wasn't at the Not E3 showcase this year. Oh well, there's always next year, right? Right, Bethesda? Please? Like a sailor's wife turned to stone, waiting on the cliffs for his return, we continue our vigil for Obsidian's first-person open-world RPG set in the Pillars of Eternity universe. Apart from assurances from Obsidian that the game is still in production, we haven't seen much of Avowed since its 2020 announcement trailer. According to rumours, Avowed has seen high-level staff departures and endured multiple reboots. With that in mind, even a 2023 release is looking less and less likely. We will now resume our lonely Avowed watch for another six months. Maybe we'll see something at the Game Awards. We're willing to bet that Crimson Desert has fallen off a lot of folks' radar, and no surprise. The developers of the extreme grind MMO Black Desert also have a single player action RPG in development, which was originally announced for launch in winter 2021. Pearl Abyss delayed it last summer, saying, we will provide an updated schedule in the future. That hasn't happened yet, and we were hoping to see a new peak at it a year later. Black Desert may be a time sink, but we really enjoy its combat, and the bits we saw in the Crimson Desert reveal trailer look like some excellent third-person sword swinging and finisher move action. We are still interested in the studio single-player game, and I'm just a little bummed it's still keeping quiet. It's been two years since we've seen or heard anything of Undead Lab's co-op zombie survival game. As someone who spent way too much time setting up the perfect anti-zombie base, filled with a collection of weirdos armed with baseball bats and AK-47s, I was surprised to see this Microsoft exclusive not even get a mention during the showcase. And when I say nothing, I mean nothing. Even the official blog for State of Decay 3 has zero details or screenshots of the game, just a CG trailer that was shown in 2020 and nothing else. The lack of overall updates is concerning, and makes me worried that we won't see this game till way later in 2023. Last year, Paradox CEO Frederick Wester explained the troubled vampire RPG had a last minute reprieve and was now under development at a new studio rather than Hard Suit Labs. Wester didn't name the developer, to give the studio a situation where they can focus fully on the game development, and not having to address fans reaching out to them. Instead, he fields the questions from fans on Twitter, saying in February, it is still in development, and we will let you know more when we have something to show. We didn't expect to see anything during Not E3, but we hoped anyway. Oh well, maybe next year. Last year, the Summer Game Fest ended with our first good look at Elden Ring. Perhaps it was too much to hope that this year's show would sport a trailer for the unconfirmed, but come on, they've got to do it, Elden Ring expansion pack. From software games typically see one or two expansion level DLCs in the half year following their launch, with Sekiro being the only recent exception. And that was likely because the developer needed all hands on Elden Ring. Given the game's increased scale compared to FromSoft's prior efforts, and the difficulties of development during COVID-19, we're likely in for a longer than usual wait for this theoretical expansion. But as FromSoft dataminer Zuli the Witch pointed out on Twitter, based on the quality of previous add-ons, 
we probably still haven't seen the best Elden Ring has to offer. Emboldened by the flame of ambition, 